We'll begin at the top of our mat in Tadasana. We will circle sweep our arms, bring them at prayer center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, spine and neck are in neutral. Exhale, plant our hands on the mat. Press ourselves two inches forward. Then exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just two more rounds of sunnies. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step, hop, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Once more. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step, hop, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urvastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift up the right leg for three-legged dog. Foot is facing towards the mat. Then we'll bring knee to same elbow. Extend knee to opposite elbow. Drop the right leg. Reach through for fallen star. Place your palm back on the mat. Extend three-legged dog. Step it through low crescent leg. And then create an interlace with behind the backs of our thigh. Look upward. Then placing the left hand onto the mat, spike up your back left foot for easy twist, bringing your right hand up to the sky, as well as your gaze, still keeping parallel to the mat. Imagine if you had a block on top of your your low back here and then rise up high crescent then warrior two to the top of your mat keeping that heel arch alignment grounding through the outside of your right foot tip it back for peace gaze goes upward extended side angle meet the right arm to your right thigh don't sink in Try to raise yourself up, prop yourself up just a little bit more. Yes. From extended side angle, we have a pretty big movement. We'll go ahead and meet in low runner's lunge at the back of the mat here, keeping that left leg spiked up. We'll then have our both of our hands planted for perch pose at the top of the mat or at the back, wherever you're at. And then warrior two, at the back of the mat. So keeping that same heel arch alignment. Inhale, tip it back for peace. Frame your foot. Chaturanga, take your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same on the left side. We'll lift up the left leg. Knee to same tricep, extend. Knee to opposite tricep, drop through. For fallen star, place palm, both palms back onto the mat. Extend, step it through, low crescent lunge. Letting yourself lean forward. You can also create the mini back bend. Then placing the right hand by your left foot, we'll begin to spike up into easy twist. Still keeping hips parallel to the mat. And then rise up for high crescent. 
keeping that 90 degree bend. Shoulders are stacked over hips and parallel. Then exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Still keeping that heel arch alignment and strong arms. Inhale, tip it back for peace. Then exhale, extended side angle. We're not sinking, we're just keeping ourselves raised here, engaging our obliques. And then big movement here. Then we'll release in low runner's lunge at the top of the mat. Meeting the left knee to the right for perch pose here. Then warrior two to the top of the mat, back to the top of the mat. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, frame your foot. Chaturanga, take your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Begin to just slow it down here. We'll lift up that right foot for three-legged dog and bring it through for the number four. Parallels to the top of our mat for pigeon pose. You can go ahead and also utilize a block here to put under your head or a small pillow for comfort and to bring the earth closer to you. And release. Go into our final downward dog for class. We'll lift up in with our left leg and bring it through parallel to the top of our mat. And then begin to lift and fall forward. Then release. Good to fall on our backs. Into a happy baby, grabbing the outsides of our feet. begin to slowly let everything fall. Let your breaths get deeper. Let your feet and, and hands dangle where they may. Allow yourself to be immersed into the mat. Shavasana.
begin to call back awareness to your body. Begin to bring movement to your legs and your hands. Stretch your arms upwards. Let your legs go side to side. windshield wipers open lie on our favorite side and prop ourselves up circle sweep our arms bring them to prayer center the highest good in me honors, sees, and believes in the highest good in you Thank you so much for flowing with me today. I hope this flow helped you gain a little bit more of a positive mindset. Thank you so much for following along in the challenge. I'll see you in my last video. Namaste.